Okay, in today's notes we're going to cover parallel lines. So given the lines 1, 2, and 3 graphed to the right, we need to take a look at the slope, intercept, and write the equation for each. So let's focus on the intercept because that's really easy. So the intercept of line 1 is 1, 2, 3. The intercept of line 2 is 1. And then the intercept of line 3 is negative 3. Now let's count the slope. In order to count the slope, we have to pick two points. So I'm going to use the intercept and then another point that hits right in uh, the corner of one of the grid boxes. So this is up 1 over 1, 2, 3. So our slope is 1 third. And then I'm going to do the same here. This is up 1 over 1, 2, 3. So we have a slope again of 1 third. And then here, from here to here, up 1 over 1, 2, 3. So the slope of every one of those lines is the same, but they have different intercepts. Okay, so let's write the equation. And y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. So this would be y equals one-third x plus three. This is going to be y equals one-third x plus one. And whoops, down here I put this intercept one uh, down too many lines. So the y-intercept is negative 3. This is y equals 1 third x minus 3. So as we mentioned, the slope in each one is the same. They just have a different y-intercept. Okay? So down below to summarize is parallel lines have the same slope but different y-intercepts. And let's take a look at example number one. It says, are lines L1 and L2 on the grid provided to the right parallel? And explain. So if we look at the two um, lines, they do have points marked, so let's count how many we're going up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then over 1, 2, 3. So up 9 over 3 for line, uh, let's call this line 1. They're not labeled that I can see. Oh, they are labeled. It's just really small. It is line 1. It's right there. So for line 1, we have a slope of up 9 over 3 or a slope of 3. For this one, we count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then over 1, 2. So for line 2, our slope is up 7 over 2, 7 halves, okay? You can reduce to a decimal, but 7 over 2 is not 3. It's 3.5, okay, or 7 halves. So the lines are not parallel. And that's because they do not have the same slope. They have to have the same slope in order to be parallel. That's going to keep them the same distance apart. Number two, it says line L1 contains the points 0, 3, and Q, negative 2, 5. And line 2 contains the points R, 0, negative 7, and S, 3, negative 10. Are the lines parallel? Well, we need to look at their slopes. So for line 1, our slope equals, that contains these two points, 
I like to write it and simplify later, so I'm going to underline the y's. So subtracting the y's, 5 minus 3. Now subtracting the x's in the same direction would be negative 2 minus 0. Line 2, and I like to write in and do all the math at the end, are these two points here, and I'm going to subtract same direction, so negative 10 minus a negative 7 over 3 minus 0. So doing the math for line 1, 5 minus 3 is 2, negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2, and then 2 divided by negative 2 is a negative 1. For line 2, negative 10 minus a negative 7, that turns to addition, and we end up with negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. So are the lines parallel? Yes. And that's because they have the same slope. Number three, which line is parallel to the line that's given? Now, our answer choices one and two are already in the form y equals o oh, and four. Three is not, so we need to put three and, okay, the given line in y equals mx plus b form. So over here, I'm going to solve for y. So to isolate y, we would first add the 12x to both sides. We have 4y equals 12x plus 20. Divide by 4, because it's 4 times y. We undo that multiplication with division. And now we have y equals, well, 12 over 4 is 3. And then 20 divided by 4 is 5. So 3x plus 5. Well, it looks like I don't need to manipulate number 3 because parallel lines have the same slope. And if this slope is 3, and this slope is 3, then line 1 is parallel. We can't have our question with two multiple choice answers that are correct. So it must be answer choice number 1. Number 4. Write an equation. Well, whenever you see write an equation, you should be thinking y equals mx plus b. So that's the same for the last one as well. So you need to find out what's the slope and what's the y-intercept. Do they give us the slope? Do they give us the y-intercept? Well, this one it says, write an equation of a line that's going to be parallel to this given line. Well, if it's parallel to this given line, it must have the same slope. So if this slope is negative 4, the slope of my line is going to be negative 4. And then it contains that point. So I know from this point right here, this is the x and this is the y, that x is going to be 1 and y is negative 2. So I know m, but I don't know b. So I have to determine what the y-intercept is going to be. I'm going to use that equation, y equals mx plus b, to directly substitute all three of these values to solve for b. So I'm going to plug in 2 for y, negative 4 for m, 1 for x, and I'm going to leave b alone. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, Add the 4 over to solve for b, and 2 plus 4 is 6. So now I have my slope, and I have my y-intercept. So my answer is going to be y equals an m of negative 4x plus my b, which is 6. But of course, in looking back, I realized that my y was negative 2. So let's see how that changes the answer. So if this is negative 2, when I added the 4 over, we would get a 2. So it should be negative 4x plus 2. Sorry about that, but I did catch it as I was going down to number 5. All right, last. 
Write an equation for a line containing that point. So if it contains the point, we know that x equals 4. Let's make sure I copy it down right this time. And y equals 2. Now it's going to be parallel to this line again, but we need to know what the line is in terms of y equals. So I'm going to solve for y by first distributing. So we have y minus 2 equals 3x plus 21. Add the 2, and we get y equals 3x plus 23. And if the lines are to be parallel, the slope of this line, which is 3, is going to be the slope of my line, because parallel lines have the same slope. So now, substitute, substituting into y equals mx plus b to find the b, because with all three values, I need both the slope and the y-intercept. I have m, but I don't have b. So plugging in 2 for y, 3 for m, and 4 for x, we can solve for b. 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 plus b now equals 2. Subtract the 12, and we get negative 10 equals b. So our answer, using our slope and our y-intercept, it's going to be y equals 3x minus 10.